AR Technologies is proud to present the Portable Sealant Dispense System. This video will display the startup and operation functions of the PSDS. To begin, plug the system into a 110 VAC outlet. This provides the electrical power required for the system. Connect the shop air supply. It is assumed that a minimum of 90 PSI shop air will be supplied to the system. Please note that the PSDS must have at least 70 PSI to operate properly. Select the Press to Start button on the touchscreen of the PSDS. The user must enter a password so that the system will differentiate between operator and administrator. The demo unit default password is 1234. The operator then selects the proper application of the work to be performed. For example, select Rivet for a Rivet work application. The operator then selects the size of the fastener application of the work to be performed. For example, select medium for a medium size fastener application. The operator then selects the proper viscosity of the work to be performed. For example, select B for class B materials to be dispensed through the PSDS. The PSDS will display to the operator the selections made through the previous screens. This example shows the result of the user selecting a medium rivet and dispensing Class B material. If the displayed information is correct, the operator then selects the Enable System option to activate the PSDS for dispensing. If the displayed information is not correct, the operator can choose Select New Fastener to reselect the settings. The system is now active and ready to dispense. The Run screen provides the operator with information and the option to select New Fastener, Exit, or Reset for New Tube. Option 1. Select New Fastener. The operator should select this feature if a new fastener type is desired. The system will prompt to verify the selection. If yes, the dispense process is ready to begin. If no, the system will return to the Run screen. Option 2. Exit System. The operator should select this feature if the application work is complete. The system will prompt to verify the selection. If yes, the system will exit the main screen. If no, the system will return to the run screen. Option 3. Reset for new tube. The operator should select this feature if the Simco tube is empty. If yes, the system will reset the trigger count to the beginning of the tube. If no, the system will return to the run screen. Load the mixed material into the Simco gun. Attach the proper tip to the Simco gun for each specified application. Please note that the tip must be attached after the tube has been inserted. Prior to the first work application, fill the tip until the material is visible. Utilize the system until the sealant tube is empty or the material flow stops. Once this occurs, the tube needs to be replaced and the system must be reset. Red light stack. If a major fault occurs, the red light will illuminate. The reset button on the front of the panel must be selected. If the condition does not clear to a green light status, please check the selections to ensure the proper operating mode is selected for the specific application. If the problem is not cured by the on-screen prompts, contact the application's engineer. Amber light stack. The amber light will illuminate only during an active trigger operation. If the trigger is set for 1.4 seconds, the amber light will illuminate for that time. This is only a visual indicator for the system operator. Green light stack. The green light illuminates after a successful system reset. The green light does not stay illuminated during system operation. The last section of the PSDS manual, which is available for download on the AR Technologies website, contains a cross-reference guide with all nozzles, part numbers, and material applications. For additional questions or advanced support, contact an AR Technologies representative by phone or by visiting the website at www.artechus.com.